Uh-huh. And uh, I will be able to finish my presentation, hopefully. So I will be sharing my desktop, I think. Uh, share my call. Please mute yourself, please. So sorry, can you hear me? Okay. So uh, GitHub will allow you to track uh, over time, uh, knowing uh, what changes you've done. So an example is uh, you write, let's say your first draft uh, to your supervisor and then supervisor will give you changes, uh, corrections, and then you come and uh, update the changes and then uh, 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 resubmit and then he gives you other changes. He will write the changes and you submit. So GitHub will tell you exactly where you started or your first draft, your second draft, your third draft until your final uh, write. -off. So also it allows excellently for collaboration because whatever you write, as in people that do develop, whatever you write, you put it on GitHub order. People can or people can pull it and continue on what you are doing. Uh, and uh, also, um, uh, there are a lot of a lot of advantages with uh, with GitHub. So setting up GitHub here, as you've seen here, what we did in this course is uh, we have the repository already for this course and all of its curriculum and whatever. So it gives you the ability, all of the fellows here, to get a copy of that repository give your own contribution to that repository, especially as you, let's say, fork the repository in your own account, not necessarily tampering with the repository here. So even after you get a copy, you can also keep track of the changes in the parent repository, which is the RYDS uh, Marshall Learning under the RYDS Data Science uh, GitHub account. And uh, you can update your own uh, version of the repo or you can contribute if let's say you've uh, fucked it into your account and then you find on some uh some let's say errors or bugs or whatever that are associated with whatever that is written here you can submit a pull request to the parent uh parent repository especially if you don't have uh permission so for the audio data science uh, machine learning repository, if we may look, we may see that there are several people that are given uh, permission to modify. But if you don't have the permission, it's either you submit a pull request or you forked it into your account and then you can tamper it however you want. So the first step to doing this, the first step to doing this is to ensure that you all have a GitHub account. How do you have a GitHub account? As with every service on the internet, most service, if I may say, you sign up. Signing up requires you registering your presence in GitHub. So how do you sign up? 
you click on this locally for us, it's given. Uh, I have uh, my account here. So what I will do is I will sign out. So, and uh, I will sign up using another email account so that we see the sign up process. So what you are asked first to do is to give in your email. So you are asked uh, to give in an email. So if the email is either not associated to any account or has an error, as if I delete this A, it says this email is invalid. So if I put in the A, the, it tells me continue. So, and then afterwards here, I can put in my password. So I will select uh, a password that is uh, easy to remember. So it says, make sure your password is at least 15 characters or eight characters, including a number and a low IT letter. So what I did here was a combination of uh, 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 upper case, lower case, number, and also special character. So it says my password is strong. So I can continue. So I can put in a username. What username did I want? I can say I Abdul Mumin. And uh, it tells me that uh, this username is available, so I can also continue. So will you like to receive product updates, whatever? I will say, no, I don't want to receive any product update. If you like, you want to receive where email product update, you can say yes. So continue. So verify my account. Uh, please solve the puzzle so you know that you are a real person. So uh, use the arrows to rotate the animal. Uh, to face in the direction. So the direction is there. So what I will be doing was to, is to ensure that this uh, is facing in the direction of this uh, hand. So I put in submit, it tells me one is done. So I will uh, rotate this also to look in the direction of the hand. I submit, so it tells me that it's done. And then it says create account. And then I click create account. It tells me that uh, you are almost done. We sent a launch code to this email address. So I will wait for the email address to, to enter. To, for the email, sorry, to enter via the email address. Um, if I check my account here, so it gives me GitHub launch code. So, and the launch code was said to be 70789904. So, and this is it. So, welcome.